The History of Plumbing in the World Prehistory Middle Ages 2500 BC The earliest plumbing pipes were made of baked clay and straw, and the first copper pipes were made by the Egyptians. They dug wells as deep as 300 feet and invented the water wheel. We know this because bathrooms and plumbing features have been found in the pyramids for the dead. Baked clay can be attributed to the Greeks. The Minoan palace of Knossos on the Isle of Crete had terracotta or baked clay piping laid beneath the palace floor. The Greeks mastered the science of hot and cold running water. They made shower technology for athletes to bathe in after their Olympic Games. Did you know that, although hot and cold water systems were in place for the Spartan warrior, it was unmanly to use hot water? Well, now you know. King Minos of Crete owned the world's first flushing water closet with a wooden seat and a small reservoir of water. The ancient Egyptians invented water wheels with buckets mounted on them to move water for irrigation. Archimedes, a great mathematician, invented a screw pump made of a screw rotating in a cylinder, now known as the Archimedes screw. This type of pump was used to drain and irrigate the Nile Valley. 8052. The Romans developed aqueducts, underground sewer system, private and public baths, both lead lead and bronze water piping system to improve sanitation. The most significant accomplishments were made by the Romans who built channels that carried water from the mountains to the city and was distributed underground with lead lines. Their almost fanatical demand for a constant supply of clean water found its expression in the ingenuity of the now famous Roman aqueduct, a water system that continuously challenged the skill of the present crop of engineers. By the 4th century CE, Rome had 11 public baths, over 1,300 public fountains and cisterns, and over 850 private baths. The Roman baths heated their hot water with wood furnaces. Public latrines had 20 seats arranged in a single room while water constantly ran beneath them and carried waste to the nearest sewer. As cities grew, the waste caused outbreaks and diseases. The famous Goth invasion brought about the disintegration and eventual collapse of the Roman Empire. The decline of the Roman Empire and an outbreak of deadly bubonic plague that killed an estimated one-third of the European population during the Middle Ages resulted in the decline of public baths and fountains. The period from 500 to 1500 CE was a dark age in terms of human hygiene. Community plumbing became almost non-existent. It was only during the Renaissance period that interest in sanitation was again revived. Early Modern Plumbing, 1596 John Harrington gifted Queen Elizabeth I with the first flashable toilet and calling it Privé in Perfection. She was too scared though to use it because it made terrible rushing water sounds. Did you know that the word John is a slang for toilet? Well, now you know. 1600s. In America, Boston pioneered the first water system in mid-1600s. King Louis XIV of France orders the construction of 15-mile-long cast-iron main plumbing line in 1664. 1700s. The first valve-tie flash toilet was invented in 1738 by J.F. Brondel. Alexander Cumming patented the flash toilet in 1775, the beginning of the modern toilet. In 17th century, the English Parliament passed the first plumbing apprentice law. France followed suit in 18th century when it embarked in the building of water service facilities. 
modern plumbing, 1810s. In 1810, the first shower was invented. It continually pumped the same wastewater from the lower basin to the top and dumped water directly above the bather's head. It was considered a novelty and performed only once or twice a year. In 1815, Philadelphia was the first to undertake a safe water supply. Steam turbines were used to draw water from the Schuylkill River into Center Square. In 1804, Philadelphia earned the distinction as the first city in the world to adopt cast iron pipe for its water means. 1830s The public the first public water mean was installed under New York streets. Multiple fires meant there was a need for an adequate water supply for firefighting. Sewer system was widely used but opened into local rivers, causing cholera epidemic and 10,000 deaths. The first floor of the White House received running water in 1833. In 1848, the National Public Health Act was passed in England and became the role model in plumbing codes around the world. America built its first integrated sewer system in Chicago in 1856 because waste was being dumped into Lake Michigan, which also supplied the city's drinking water. It caused a deadly outbreak and claimed nearly 75,000 lives. 1870 to 1890. Types of toilet were made and introduced. In 1870, Thomas Twyford created the Brahma, one step towards a one-piece toilet. In 1880, chain pool toilet was invented in England. And in 1890, flush toilets were introduced. But it was not until the 1920s that they became common in middle and working class homes. John Collar created the first cast iron bathtub in 1883, made from an iron horse to rough. Early 1900s Most waterborne diseases were removed, but innovation turned to the creation of softer and less mineralized water. Water softness was introduced in 1903. World War II restricted the use of iron, steel, and copper and forced the plumbing industry to start using new materials like plastics. Water saving laws started to be introduced in 1978. California was prohibited to use more than 3.5 gallons per flush. 1986, the first sensor flushing toilet was created in Japan. Low-flow toilets are created to conserve water in 1992. These models use about half the water per flush than other older models. And 2013. With the need of more potable water, toilets are becoming more efficient. And that is the plumbing history in the world. Thank you.